Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel! Uh, last time we finished up all of our quests and everything that we had to do here. We got our, you know, medals and trophies and all this other kind of crap that we had to get done, so... I uh, guess it's time for a rest now. We can go back to the dorm. Hang out. Wait. Relax. Or answer the telephone. Yo, it's me. Oh, hey, Crow. Is something wrong? It's not like you'd call out of the blue. Well, we've run into a bit of a problem. Turns out our outfits for the concert will be arriving late. They said the earliest they can get them delivered is sometime tomorrow morning. That's not great. I mean, it'll be hard to do tonight's dress rehearsal without the actual well, dress. Exactly. But don't you worry, though. I'm just as crafty as I am handsome, so I've got a plan. Want to head out and pick them up for us in person? Uh, Crow, I think the two of us need to go over the definition of plan sometime. You ordered them from a boutique in Heimdall, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, someone over there is putting the finishing touches on them right now. They'll be done by this evening, so our whole delivery problem solved if you just head over there. I do it myself, but I've got some stuff I need to get done. Got it. I'll take care of it. I'll head to the station right now. Wouldn't want to miss the train on something this time sensitive. Oh, there, the train? Come on, man. Don't tell me you forgot about Jellica's parting gift. Oh. Yeah, I guess we could use a bike. You're right, it'd probably be faster to get to Heimdall by bike than by train. Okay, bike it is. Besides, if I cut down on my travel time, I can put more work into the festival. <laughs> Even when I give you something cool to do, you find a way to make it dorky. Oh yeah, uh, you should take someone with you too. You're bringing 11 outfits back here, and that's not exactly going to be easy on your own. That's true, it'll be a lot easier with the sidecar too. Okay, leave it to me. Cheers! Okay, guess I've got a little more wriggle room to help out around here. I'll head to the engineering club to ask George to lend me the bike once I'm done. Well, I did everything that I need to do, so let's head on over there. Why not? This is fun. A little diversion. Head on over to Heimdall. Hey, Reen. I heard everything from Crow. I just finished up with the maintenance on the sidecar, too, so you're welcome to use it whenever you'd like. Thanks. I'll do that. Angie left it to you, so think of it as your bike now. You can take it out for a spin whenever you feel the need for speed. Thanks, George. So, yeah, sometimes you'll see an error show up here. Right, so then what should I do? Yeah, he's still uh, working out that Mishy game. Okay, so just gotta examine the bike, and off we go. Here's Angelica's bike. Uh, yeah. Okay, looks like everything's in working order. Oh, uh, what's wrong? Crow did say I should take someone else along to give me a hand. Not sure how busy everybody is, though. Let's see, who should I try asking first? Screw all of them! I'm going by myself. Yeah, everyone's probably got their hands full right now. I wouldn't want them to go out of their way on my account. There'd be a lot of carry, but I've got the sidecar, so I think I'll be alright. Crow, why are you here? Uh, tell me, Reen, exactly what part of invite someone don't you understand? It really isn't that hard. Man, what would have you done if I wasn't free? Sorry. I do appreciate you coming along, though. Well, I've got to see how my babies come out. Besides, I'm sure Jellica would be thrilled to see me riding her bike, so I guess I can let you off the hook this time. Crow, are you sure it was okay for you to come with me like this? It sounds like you had about a million people asking for your help. Don't sweat it. I'm not that heavily involved with any of them, and I can finish up my bits just fine. This festival's all but the first years anyway. I know when to stand back and give the other folks their moment to shine. That's surprisingly believable. And here I thought the instructors had caught wind of your gambling plans and were trying to escape or something. Oh, wait, seriously? Eyes on the road, Reen. Eyes on the road. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess we interrupted his uh, game of cards. But pretty much, whoever you choose to go with, you'll get a shit ton of Link experience with, and I have, like, no Link experience with Crow, because I really don't use him in my party all that much. Because, uh, to me, he's guesty. So, eh, might as well give him some, like, some Link experience. And he's not annoying. Like, Milliam's kind of guesty to me as well, if you know what I mean, but Milliam's just damn annoying. Although she is more useful in battle than Crow, I believe. Although, I must say, everybody's pretty much about the same, except for, um, Emma and, uh, Elliot. They're much different, but they have their uses, too. 
Elliot more than Emma. Sorry to make you guys come all this way to pick these up. I think we'll be pretty happy with the way they turned out, though. Fantastic. I can't wait to see them. Thanks. Guess I'll you again this year. After how hard you worked me last year, I was more than ready for this. But even so, your concert made it all worth it. Let's hope these kids can do something that measures up. Yeah, one more thing. I made one of these outfits for you, too, just in case. Aw, for me? You shouldn't have. Crow, didn't you just give me a speech about how you were going to stay behind the scenes and let us shine? Well, sure. I just figured that if I had a uniform, we'd feel like one big team. Yeah, that's a good enough excuse for now. What's going on? That's a pretty bird. We haven't seen a bird all game, and now all of a sudden there's a bird. What the? Huh. That's strange, to say the least. A different co color dialogue, too. Hey, uh, I hate to snap you out of whatever this is, but we've got somewhere we need to be. If we don't get going, it'll be night by the time that we're back at the dorms. Yeah, sorry, I'm back. I just got distracted by a strange bird on the lamppost, that's all. Strange, huh? Yeah, I've never seen a bird that color before. It was a really deep blue, almost like a lapis lazuli. That does sound kind of strange. I wonder why it's hanging around the city, though. Who oh, knows? what do we have here? Oh, it's uh, the opera singer and Misty all rolled into one. Uh, Misty? It's been a while, hasn't it, Reen? And thanks for not using my real name. If people here in the capital were to overhear you, I'd be drowning in fans in no time flat. Sure, mum's the word. Fancy meeting you here, though. I assume you're here to shop. You guessed it. This store does have a ranch in Trista, but this one has a much better selection. What about you? What are you doing with those suitcases? Two buddies going off on an exciting adventure together. I ought to be a teenager again. Sure are. Since when? Ignore him. We're here on business, actually. Ooh, concert, huh? Sounds like a blast. I'd love to drop at the festival and see it myself. I might be able to go if I can figure up a bit of space in my schedule. It'd be great to have you. Although, I can't imagine a professional like you would be terribly impressed. Don't be silly. Great music comes from the heart. Lost track of the time. I better get going. Bye for now. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. Of course, I always do. Well, that was the Vita Collide, right? The opera singer? Ooh, you've got some friends in high places, Reen. So, do you just call her Misty to keep a low profile for your dates or what? For one thing, we're not dating, and more importantly... Wow, really? She seems so laid back. She must be pretty amazing to handle two jobs at once. Yeah, she's something alright. Wait a sec, tomorrow's Friday, right? They only broadcast Abin time on Sundays. Well, yeah? Maybe she's on some other show this week. Who knows? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. We should head back to Tristan. I'm sure everybody's waiting for us. Definitely. We've got to get everyone into those outfits. The ladies, especially. Then all they'll be left is surviving Commander Elliot's boot camp from hell. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine, hopefully. Okay. Yeah, 600 experience for that. Okay, we have some time here, so I'm going to use this time to talk a little bit about the upcoming dance event that we have uh, during the festival. Basically, the people that you have the highest affection with or bonding points, you are able to dance with, boys and girls. Um, but there's also a little bit more to it than that. The people that you spent time with during the bonding events in Chapter 6, you will also get to spend time with. Um, and people that you spend your tickets on, because during the festival you're going to get little like event tickets and all that kind of stuff. And the people that you spend your tickets on, you can also uh, spend time with and dance with as well. Uh, other people like Toa and Sarah, if you didn't do their bonding events, you're not going to get to dance with them. And as far as I'm concerned, if they are not a danceable partner for me, I am not going to show them. I'm not going to go back and replay, you know, half this game the past 10 hours because, you know, I missed one bonding event or I didn't bond with the, wrong, with the right person at the wrong time or whatever. That's just ridiculous. So it is what it is as far as I'm concerned. Wow, these are actually really nice. They're a bit more revealing than I would have chosen, but at least the design itself is reasonably tasteful. Yep, not bad. And the black makes us look all classy, too. Oh, what am I even doing in this getup? They look like burlesque dancers to me. Wow! That makes me 
makes your boobies look even bigger! Wow, you look stunning. That's seriously hot. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have trusted the boys. I think it's perfect, and letting your hair down adds just the right amount of mystique. Nice work on the styling, Sharon. <laughs> Thank you, my lady. I think you all look beautiful. Wow, you all look even better than I was hoping. Oh, y'all look good, too. Love a man in what? uniform. Well, wow, you all look the part of dashing gentlemen yourselves. It seems like you took your inspiration from the traditional dress of the Imperial Court. You look like rejected princes from a children's book. But it kind of works. <laughs> I feel a little bad for you guys. Your uniforms don't have those little personal touches like ours do. Well, considering the time we had to work with, we had to set up for all of us guys just wearing the same thing. Eh, no one's gonna care what the guys are wearing. It's better to bring out each girl's charms and let the boys just sort of fade into the background. Speak for yourself, Crow. That's called knowing your audience, boys and girls. <laughs> I see how it is. We're all different heights and have different hair colors, so I think we're better off with a standardized look. I'm no stranger to cuffs, epaulets, and overdone embroidery. But it looks preposterous to see you wearing such finery, even if it is just a costume. Hey, I didn't ask for this! What sane man would want to dress like a noble? Besides, I hope you haven't forgotten that we'll be singing in these outfits, together! Sadly, despite my earnest attempt, I haven't. I love you, right. sis. <laughs> are you ready to practice the night away? We've only got a day and a half left, and that's if you include today. No time to waste. And that's why none of us are leaving this building until we can do a perfect run-through of our whole set. I don't think he's going to take no for an answer. You're like a drill sergeant when it comes to music. I hope you're not starting to take after Nightheart. Uh, we're not sleeping tonight, are we? <laughs> I'll be sure to bring you all a nourishing dinner later this evening. That's not the problem here. Well, I suppose there's not much more we can do than buckle down and give it our best shot. Fine. I suppose I'll just have to cast my shame to the wind and go through with it. Aww. It's not like I want to wear an outfit like this, but I might never get a chance again, so come on, Emma. Just grip and bear it. Oh no. I think we broke Emma. Maybe we ought to leave her be for a while. <laughs> yeah, Eustace is such like an undercover little bitch. He just goes and he makes fun of Machias for like no reason, out of the blue. It's just like, ah, oh, by the way, fuck you, Machias. He's such a bitch. <laughs> Cracks me up though, I love him. But at least Machias has gotten a little bit nicer, because Machias used to be... Well, the thing is about Eustace is that he's... You can laugh at his little snipes. Machias was just mean. But he's gotten better. Oh, I liked him back in their uniform. And how come Crow never got a uniform? Crow really needs to be in uniform, too. It's very upsetting. Or at least put Gaius back in his uniform. It'd be all about that. Well, looks like the day of the festival's finally here. Go and play our little games and everything. Okay. Or maybe I spoke too soon. That was a preparation day? When are we actually going to get to enjoy this festival? Or is it all just going to be cutscenes? Yeah, I'm sure we'll get to enjoy it ourselves. They couldn't possibly just cutscene the whole thing that they've been going on and on and on about for like the last month or so. Well, they do it in Dragon Quest. Are they really gonna do it here? Seriously. Oh, this is nice, like a little Japanese bamboo garden. That's cute. And there's that Mishi game. That looks... I don't know. I guess it's fixed now. Although it's huge! Like, how the hell is this to play that? Ooh, this operetta. This ought to be good. That crazy-ass professor. That professor in his glasses, he reminds me of, um, Serena's friend on, uh, Sailor Moon. That was perfection itself. Indeed, victory's as good as ours. Okay. Yeah. Oh. However, what's going on?
Oh, that's the uh, principal and Beatrix, I believe. Ho 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 ho! Looks like this year's festival will be even more lively than last year's. An ill wind blows from the east and ominous clouds still hang over our fair country. But uh, young people have their whole future ahead of them. They ought to pursue their dreams with excitement and with passion. Just as they always have, and they likely always will. I certainly agree. It's good to be young. I was once full of vim and vigor. So were you. Prince Oliver, well, he never really lost the spark. Even his highness and that fool Osborne were boys once. Indeed. I'm back for my patrol. Thank you, Sarah. Looks like everything will be finished by the end of the day. Instructor Beatrix, my apologies. I had no idea you were here. You really don't need all that formality, or the salute for that matter. You've accomplished more than enough since we first met to stand proudly on equal footing with me. But you saved my life. Kind of hard to trump that. And if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to join the guild either. It's hard to believe it's been ten years since then. My, how time flies. You're quite the popular figure on campus. Weren't you also Nightheart Superior at one point? With all due apologies to Heinrich, perhaps I ought to put you forth as my replacement when I retire. I'm all for that. I couldn't possibly. Still, considering the direction this country seems to be headed, I'm worried about what will become of this academy in the next year. So am I. Have you heard anything from Major Nightheart, sir? Not thus far, unfortunately. He did state his intent to return in time for the festival, however. I see. I've been hearing some concerning reports from the Guild and Crossbow recently. I don't doubt it. We're likely on the cusp of a significant change, whatever that change might turn out to be. But in spite of what the future may hold, our duty remains the same as it's always been. Yeah. Well said, Instructor Beatrix. I ask of you, Adios, and Dreykos the Lionheart, grant these young people your protection and your courage, and guide them as they enjoy this festival that no harm may come to them. Okay, what's going on behind the scenes? Oh, okay, well that's not bad. Yeah, we did it! That was our best yet. I feel like we were really giving everything we had with that one. Ah, oh, I need a rest. The only question now is whether we can do that in front of a hall full of people. Don't worry, we'll be fine. We prepared as much as we can. It's all in the goddess's hands now. <laughs> Maybe you're right. But when you put it that way, it sounds like no matter how much work we put in, it all comes down to luck in the end. If that's the case, we'll just have to coerce luck into staying on our side. Nice work, guys. I think we're right where we want to be. You play like you did just now for the actual concert, and we'll be golden. Thanks for all your help, Crow. If you're satisfied, I think our audience will be too. <sighs> what time is it even? Only 3 p.m. Wow. I thought it was evening already. <laughs> well, no one could accuse us of not being focused enough. I just want to go back to the dormitory and bury my face in my pillow. Rest? Oh, no, 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 no. No time for that now. See, the best concerts always have two aces in the hole. An unexpected surprise and an encore. Now that we've finally got the basics down, we can try pulling off something that'll pave our road to victory. What? Surprises? An encore? What? Please tell me you're just kidding. You are, Wait, right? We're not seriously doing that. I thought you were just joking. Now hold on just a minute. You aren't seriously suggesting that we add another song, are you? Ding ding! He can be taught! Don't worry your pretty little heads, though. As soon as you hear what I've got in mind, you'll be all in on this. I've got a nice, simple tune in mind that everyone's heard, and most people probably even know the lyrics. Anyway. We haven't got much time to prep, so how about we get right down to business? Uh, you're a slave driver. Uh... Ah, you killed her! Hang in there, Emma. Uh, I think Crow's more fired up about this than anybody else, even me. He's taking us on, one r on a ride one way or another, so we might as well just strap ourselves in. Yeah, Reen's ever the optimist, it seems. But uh, I wonder what Crow has up his sleeve. He said a surprise and an encore, so eh, we'll see. Well, I guess she's just inspecting, making sure everything's all right. Looks good to me. Oh, hey, George. Still hard at work, I see. Oh, hey. It sounds like you managed to finish all the difficult stuff, huh? Yeah, it wasn't easy, though. 
But I think it'll be worth it in the end. This year's festival is shaping up to be even more fun than last year's. Really? You're worried about Angie, aren't you? Yeah, I'm sure she'll come through for us. But with what's happening in Crossbow right now and all the terrorist attacks in the last couple of months, it sounds like this country's got some tough times ahead of it. I've started to think maybe she might not make it. Always a possibility, I guess. But you know what? Even knowing that, I don't feel worried. Thinking of how much fun we're going to have in these next few two days, I just can't imagine Angie missing a good party. Yeah, you're right. You really do. Or really do what? Never mind. Yeah, looks like Class 7's still at it. I wonder if they're still practicing. I don't know. I looked in on them this afternoon and it seemed like they were basically done for the day. Still, they've got Crow as their producer. So you know, there's always that little bit of worry in the back of my mind. Now that you mention it... Oops, looks like we're a little late. Reen! What happened to you guys? You look exhausted. I can't believe we made it through alive. That was like torture. I'm so tired. I'm gonna call Lammy. Don't you dare. Celine, grandmother. Emma, you can't just sleep out here. At least summon up the energy to get back to your bedroom first. Are you all okay? All finished with the concert rehearsal then. Huh, just about. We were cutting it pretty close though. Now all that's left to see is how it all goes over in front of the audience. I'm sure it'll be fine. A wind of blessing will blow on us. You look like you rehearsed till you dropped. Literally. You all should feel proud. I've seen how hard you've worked. That's great to hear. I can't wait to see you guys play live. I've got a feeling you're set to impress. Oh, what's going on? Shooting star, maybe? An airship? The aerosol? Prince Oliver? I'd love it if Oliver came over. I'd love Oliver. There should really be more Oliver in this game. Not that there's, like, a dearth of Oliver. Just more. Wow. Looks like they've got all the decorations put up now. You can really feel the excitement in the air. Looks like it's going to be even livelier than last year. That's fine by me. George and Toa, thank you both so much for all the work that you've put in helping the festival go forward. Same to you, man. You guys have been pedaling the metal all the way, especially these last couple of days. I'm ready to have some fun tomorrow. Make sure to let loose. You've earned it. Um, uh, let's hang out in the dorm. Why not? Okay, yeah. So we'll do the festival tomorrow. This'll just be the end of it. Oh, don't tell me you six-time field study champs got your butts kicked by a little practice. Come on! Where's all that youthful energy? You've got another year before you're an old man like me. This is mostly your fault, you know. Hey, now. I just don't want you guys to come crying to me later because I didn't push you all out. Though to be fair, I was just going to leave things as they were if I didn't think that you'd be able to keep up. But hey, you did just like I knew you would. Thanks. It's a little early to be thanking me just yet. We've got to actually pull it off on the big day. Yeah, it's true. You know, don't count chickens before they hatch, as they say. Listen up, Eusis. The success or failure of the guys' part depends entirely on us, so don't even think about screwing this up. You're the last person who should be reminding me of that. Well, we're exchanging advice. Try not to get too overzealous on stage. We don't want you to squander all of our hard work. I know perfectly well what I should and shouldn't be doing on stage. These two never do change, do they? But at least they're arguing sync. The concert should be a breeze if they can keep this up. Eh, that's true. You know, gotta stay in sync with the duet. Pretty rough day today, huh? Hard to believe our concert's only two days away now. We've been rehearsing like crazy right up to the start of the festival, so I'm not surprised. But thanks to that, I'm pretty sure our performance will measure up to a certain someone's sky-high expectations. I have no idea to who you might be referring to. But honestly, I've been putting in crazy amounts of practice myself. With all of our work, there's no way our performance could be subpar. Yeah, we have been working quite a lot, but not as much as the other classes, I must say. Tome is planning on coming for a visit the day of the concert. Your sister's coming too, isn't she? Yeah, she got in touch a while back to tell me that she'd be there, rain or shine. With family in the audience, we have that much extra pressure to impress. Ain't that the truth? We've got to step it up and be the cool big brothers this time. You said it. Oh, thanks, Gaius. Always nice to have a little pep talk there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go up and uh, check on the girls, see what they're up to. No, oh, Fee's out here. What's up? I'm actually kind of tired. Partnering with Millian's hard work. She's a habit of just doing things. I don't like it. 
You do make a good match for her, though. Either way, good job today. Make sure you sleep in your room, all right? Roger. What did I just say? Room! <laughs> She's not paying a lick of attention to you. And there's a uh, million. I was pooped after practice, but then I saw the decorations and got all excited again. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep tonight. Same here. Make sure you have a ton of fun tomorrow. That would be the best way to get ready for a concert. You've got a pretty important part, too, so we need you at full power. No problem. Finding fun's what I do. Eh, that's one way to put it, I guess, if what you call, you know, if that's fun for you, William. Elisa. Reen, how long have you been there? Not long, maybe a minute or two. He's even really focused on your vocal exercises there. Yeah, I was. I know I'm only doing backup vocals, but the others are working so hard for this that I want to support them the best that I can. I can't blame you, especially now that we've decided to go through with that surprise, too. But we've already done everything that we can to prepare. It all comes down to how we perform when we're in front of the crowd. Right now, all we can do is rest up and hope our hard work pays off tomorrow. I know it will. Well, it should. I hate to be like the Debbie Downer, but... Eh. I'm sure it's going to be the coolest one and it's going to win and all that, but it's just very... I don't know, not realistic. The festival's finally here. My club doesn't need me to assist with our preparation, so I'm free to focus on the concert instead. My plan for tomorrow is to visit everyone while patrolling the academy. Well, we've got nothing to fear if you're on patrol duty. Instructor Sarah is supposed to take care of that, though. You should just take it easy and have a good time. I will if you will. Okay. Well, sounds like a plan to me. And Emma. I still can't believe they picked me to sing one of the songs. Why me, of all people? Surely there must have been a better choice, right? I don't know about that. Honestly, I think Crow's decision was spot on. You do? I guess it's too late to be complaining. It's time to resign myself to the inevitable and sing my heart out. If you guys really think I'm the best choice, I want to live up to the faith that you all have in me. Don't sweat it. I know you'll do great. Well, let's see if, uh, Instructor Sarah or Sharon or somebody's hanging around out on the first floor. There's normally somebody just kind of chilling down there, so I might as well go check it out and, uh, see what's going on. Who is it? Oh, it's Sarah. Drinking again? So how does it feel having all your festival preparations finally finished? I bet you're looking forward to tomorrow. I really am. I'm really curious to see what all the other classes have put together, too. Well, having fun is what school festivals are all about, so I hope you'd have a great time. You've earned it. I'm really looking forward to seeing your concert, too. We'll do our best to make it one for the school history books. Oh, well, that's nice of them. And, um, uh, Sharon should be in here. And that cat is the other, uh, dot. I'm not going to talk to the cat. It's very apparent that all of you have poured everything you have into this festival. So much so even that it took you all a while to even notice that I brought you dinner. We really were practicing like our lives depended on it. It was still delicious, though. I think it was the reason that we were able to keep practicing for so long. I'm pleased to have been able to even be slightly of assistance. I have every intention of being there for the concert, so I wish you all luck. Thank you. Oh, well, that's really nice of her. So, uh, anyway, next time, I'll let's play Legend Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. We will, uh, have our festival day. And go enjoy the sights and sounds of the Academy. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.